C.J. Ward. We begin at 11 with a billion dollar battle between two supermarket giants. Hagen is suing Albertsons. It's the latest salvo in this growing grocery war. News Channel 3's Tracy Laird joins us live from a Hagen store in Santa Barbara. And Tracy, to make matters worse, Hagen just announced it's closing some of its stores. That's right, 19 stores in California. I'm not aware of anyone right here, and I'm on the Mesa in front of the Hagen store. But I do know that Hagen spent more than a billion dollars to acquire a large number of stores, and now it is seeking a billion dollars in this lawsuit. When Albertsons bought Safeway for more than $9 billion this year, it was forced to sell off stores to satisfy an antitrust review by the Federal Trade Commission. That's where Hagen came in. But since Hagen took over stores on the Central Coast and in four other states, it's been a rocky road. First, Albertsons sued Hagen over inventory. Now Hagen is suing Albertsons for a billion dollars. The suit claims Albertsons engaged in coordinated and systematic efforts to eliminate competition and Hagen as a viable competitor in over 130 local grocery markets in five states. An Albertson spokesperson says the allegations in the lawsuit are completely without merit, and some shoppers agree. I think it's ridiculous. You can't blame your competitor for ruining your business. You have to take control. I mean, they, they, they bought this store. They, it, you know, they, they have to know how to run it. Many are upset over layoffs and the discontinued contract with developmentally challenged workers. And they've been working here for years. Everybody in the neighborhood knows them. Everybody's, they've been working really great here, and, and they just fired them all. This parking lot was always full every day of the week. Uh, and now, well, look, it's half full every day. And that's impacted businesses used to the foot traffic of grocery shoppers. You know, we'd like to see the parking lots full because it does affect my business not having near as many people walking by. Now, Albertson is expected to answer to the suit in about 30 days. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you, Tracy. And